I'm gonna show you the Ethelbert Shuffle. Go for it. Another pre-election road trip. This time from one end of a road to the other. If there is an immigration fault line, it runs right down the middle of Ethelbert Road, Cliftonville, Margate. <laughs> First stop, up at Karika's place. That fault line runs in between these two doors. On one, a national front sticker. Behind the other, a family of Slovakian Roma gypsies. They moved to the UK a few years ago. I'm being job center, stop my money. What happened? Nothing. I'm what happened? Stop my money. The day we arrive, Apat's daughter's boyfriend's job seeker's allowance was stopped. Why did they stop your money? I don't know. She told me I need to go back to my country. So job seekers is normally stopped if it's felt the recipient isn't making reasonable efforts to find work. Why did you expect to get benefits here? I'm taking for job benefit because I'm done at work. Because you don't have work. They're looking for work. I understand. Sorry, but I need to get some sort of money, you know, because I'm done have money. Apat Senior lives here with his son, daughter and grandchild. My girl, my girlfriend is dead. His partner died in Slovakia after a heart operation went wrong. My dad everything cleaning and cooking. He's looking for after this too. Yes. Is that right? Yes. So yes. when your when your mom passed away, your dad does all the cleaning, does all the cooking. Is that right? I'm half good at that. Do they live on this road? On the way out, Maggie next door with the <laughs> NF sticker. It's getting worse down this road. I walked down the road the other day and got started on by a load of foreign people just because I was walking down the road. Was that? She invited us for tea that night. So did Apat and his friends. It was going to be an interesting evening. Dog, no good. The dog? Yeah. <laughs> this, ra this is a racist dog, is it? Come here, you come, come here. When the bottom fell out of Margate's holiday market, old B&Bs started taking in families from social services around the country. In recent years, the Eastern Europeans arrived. Around a fifth of people in this ward are white non-British. Next stop on the street, follow the fault line. We've got Vinny, we've got Nicole and we've got Rachel. Everyone's fine down the street, everyone gets yeah. on with everyone really. So. We've got a few friends around here that are checking. Um, all different languages, they're all right. They ain't no problem. Yeah. The paradox. This family gets on with immigrants, just not with immigration. Will you be voting on the general election and who will you be supporting? UKIP. 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 Yeah, UKIP. UKIP. Did you say yeah. UKIP as well? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Even though you're not on last point yet, mate. Yeah, still. Why would you vote like UKIP? Because it's just all of the mayhem everything that's been happening with them here. A house in need of work, an Asian landlord, a young UKIP supporter struggling to breathe. Well, the house is just left to rot. So well, all and everything has got really damp. And then obviously that causes other things like asthma and that, and I think that's how I've got my asthma. Ethelberg has its problems, but a local council task force has been tackling them head on. And at number 45... So we chose that house together. Yeah. Mich Michelle's downstairs. Right? Sam Thomas has put his money where his middle-class sensibilities are. One of the things about the Czech Roma uh, immigrants here is that they actually are a community. Um, and that, I think, is different from some of the disaffected young British people. Who, who don't necessarily feel part of it. Who, who, no, and, and in some senses they've been dumped here. They're very, in some respects, very isolated anyway. Okay. Thanks very much. Bye. For him, immigrant human capital will save this street.
it doesn't come more capital than Captain Singh. The convention, when a camera crew turns up on your street, is for them okay, to uh, direct you. Okay, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna walk in. Yeah. I'm yeah. gonna say hello to you guys, yes? Yeah, that'd be great. Mahinda Singh is an old school immigrant. Indian roots, British tweeds. Hang on, hang on, hang on, cut, 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 cut. Okay. Hi, guys, how you keeping? Yeah, you're right? having a couple on your own? Yes. yes. And where's my one then? Yes, yes thank you. Since I moved here, beautiful people, lovely people I met, I have no problem with whatsoever with anybody. Invested in Ettelberth, talking it up. Mm, I reckon, I mean, it's going to be another Brighton in coming five to seven years' time. He also invited us for dinner in his award-winning restaurant. But that night, we were already double booked. First up, Maggie and her friend Gail. He said, and you can't understand. You can't understand what they're saying. The more exercised Gail Boodle gets about immigration, the faster she knits. Foreigners are basically taking over the houses. And once you get them in there, you normally only get about one or two to start with. Not 24 hours later, you'll get the uncles, you'll get the aunts, you'll get the grandparents, you'll the get kids. the great grandparents, you'll get the kids. And the whole lot of them are in there. What does that say, Maggie? What, that one? Yeah. What goes around comes back around. Cool. Maggie Burns has had a very hard life. Been in care since she was two. The National Front sticker on her door put there by a friend. She's not taking it off though, because she's angry. How does it actually impact on your life partner, day to day? I can't get a job. I keep getting woken up by her downstairs, banging around all hours of the night. They are lovely people, don't get me wrong, they are a lovely family, but there's like 16 of them living in there. <laughs> Next door, back at Apat's. He's on the dinner. His brother Thomas on keyboard. Oh, yeah. It's getting crowded. So who, who, who are these people? Your cousin, is it? Okay. Slovakia is a member of the EU, and this family very open about the attraction of Britain. Arpad Jr., for example, was born here. Our fault line doesn't just run down a street across two thresholds. It runs between two mums. Yeah. But your neighbour, that young girl with the little kid, do you think she's costing the state more than you are? Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. They've got, they get, I don't know where they get their money from, but they but always seem on, to have loads of money I, I, on them. Is, I know, I don't, I don't want to be hard on you now, right, but if you think of, like, you've two, you've two kids in care. Three kids. Three kids in care. Yeah. Adopted. Um, yeah. Yeah. And, 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 and you've had a lifetime in care. Yeah. And you were on benefits yourself. I am, so, yeah. do, do, but, so surely you've cost the state more than your neighbour yeah, downstairs has. Yeah, but I haven't come to a different country to get benefits, have I? I haven't gone to a different country and gone, oh, I'll live on benefits for the rest of my life. So you, 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 your, your take is that you're entitled to that because you were born here? Yeah, I'm British. We started with the Ettelberth shuffle. We end with some Ettelberth irony. The people who chose to live here feel looked after by each other, by Britain. The people who didn't, don't. 